guys, on today's demo video, I'll demonstrate to you on how to draft sleep pattern. So, ano ba yung mga body measurements na needed natin? So, uh, sleeve length. So, sleeve length is 7 and 1 half inches. Armhole. So, yung armhole po natin is 14 and 1 half. So, divided by 2, 7 and 1 fourth. So, yung arm circumference natin measures 10 inches. So, divided by 2, so magiging 5. Okay. So, first, ilagay nyo muna yung manila paper na kailangan ninyo. So, manila paper natin kahit mga 1 fourth lang po ng manila paper. So, always fold it at the center. So, dapat dalawa yan. Para pag magka-cut, dalawa na yung isang front then isang back part. So, doble din dapat. So, start na tayo. From the top, measure tayo ng 1 inch. So, pa tayo ng 1 inch. Then, draw a straight line. Okay, next. So, mark this as point 0.1. Next, from point 0.1, bababa ka ng... Ito ba? Wait lang, check ko. Baka naman hindi hiti. From point 0.1, measure tayo ng sleep length. So, ang sleep length natin is 7 and... 7 and 1 half. Then, mark this as point 0.2. 7 and 1 half. Mark this as point 0.2. Yung pin sleep length natin. Next, from point 0.1 ulit, Measure tayo ng 4 and 1 half. Then, mark this as point 3. Then, higyan na natin ng 2 hit. So, ito yung advantage pag may triangle. Tapat lang sa gilid. Then, 2 hit. Okay, next. From point 1, from point 1, measure tayo ng 3.8 kapunta dun sa amila. So, ito yung start ako dito, bilang ako ng 3.8. 1, 2, 3. Kasi yung dulo may metal eh. So, 3.8 mark this as point 4. So, 3.8. Bula sa point 4, measure ka ng 1 half ng armhole. So, 1 half ng armhole ang kailangan natin. Ang armhole natin is 7 and 1 fourth ang kalahati. So, mula dito, pa diagonal. So, babagsak dapat siya sa line 3. So, mula sa point 4, measure ka ng 1 half ng armhole, which is 7 and 1 fourth. Ayan, nakikita, 7 and 1 fourth. So, dito tumapat yung 7 and 1 fourth. Then, mark this as 0.5. So, lagyan na natin ng guhit. Okay, next. 2. 2, 6. Kailangan natin ng 1 half ng arm girth. So, yung arm girth natin is 10 divided by 2. So, magiging 5. So, mula sa point 2, 1 half ng arm girth is 5. Magdadagdag daw tayo ng 3, 8 for the allowance. So, mula sa ano, 1 half ng arm hole, dagdag tayo ng 3, 8. 1, 2, 3. So, 3, 8. Then, mark this as point 6. So, i-connect na rin natin. Okay. Next. Then, divide 0.4 to 0.5. So, i-divide daw ng 4 equal parts. So, paano natin yung gagawin? So, ito yung 0 0.4, 0 0.5. I-fold lang natin yung tape measure ng dalawang beses. So, yun yung magiging 1 fourth measurement ng 4 and 5. So, ayan. Mark natin. Sorry. Mark natin. So, tapat natin ulit. Ayan yung mark ha. So, nakikita nyo naman kung paano. So, magiging point 7 to. Ito, 8. Ito ang magiging point 9. 7, 8, 9. So, nag-gets. Next. So, mula sa point 7, aakyat daw tayo ng 5, 8. So, gagawin natin yan diagonally. 5, 8 daw ang akyat. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 8 po ah. Medyo tumaba na yung line. So, 5, 8 lang dapat yan. So, mark this as point 10. Next. From point 0.9, baba naman doon ng 5.8. So, ito yung point 0.9, bababa ng 5.8. So, diagonal din, nakadiagonal. So, ito yung 5.8. So, 11. So, again, so 7.8, akit ang 5.8. Mula sa point 0.7, akit ang 5.8. So, magiging 10. Mula sa 9, baba ng 5.8. So, point 11. So, ang gawin natin, connect muna natin to Para hindi tayo mali. 
connect 4 pen A. Kita niyo nga. Four, ten, eight. Then after that, eight, eleven, five. So na ganito naman. Next naman. So mula sa point eight, bababa ka ng one fourth. Pag ganito. Bababa ng one fourth mula point eight pa kunta don one fourth mark this as point twelve so mula four ten hanggang twelve ang connect niya yun na four ten twelve so ma adjust next yung gitna ng nine and eleven yun yung magiging point thirteen ito na ano point thirteen yun na ng 9 and 11.13. So, i-connect natin siya using broken 9. Para ma-identify natin yung back part. So, ganito yan. Kung ano po yung pinakamalalim yan yung front part, kung ano yung mababaw yan yung back part ng sleeve. So, mapapansin nyo sa pattern, mas malalim ang armhole ng front part kumpara, kumpara sa armhole ng back part. So, yan. 